Hello students, welcome you all. In pericyclic reaction, today I will explain anomalous 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction or 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction in ketenes. Now, according to the selection rule for cyclo addition reaction, what we have seen the selection rule for cyclo addition reaction that is for 4 electron system and for 4 plus 2 an electron system. So under thermal condition, under thermal condition here suprafacial interfacial interaction or intrafacial suprafacial interaction under photochemical condition suprafacial suprafacial for 4 plus 2 electron system under thermal condition suprafacial suprafacial interaction is allowed under photochemical condition suprafacial interfacial or interfacial suprafacial interaction is allowed. So here we are discussing 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction that is this is an example of 4 electron system or 4n electron system. So here we are discussing 4n electron system and as in 4n electron system this is only allowed it is only allowed under thermal condition where suprafacial suprafacial interaction is allowed. But what we have seen this 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction in ketene this is this only takes place under thermal condition. So one of the point it occurs under thermal condition under thermal condition only. Okay so if we say it is taking place under thermal condition then it means what type of interaction will take place that is suprafacial intrafacial interaction is allowed here. So that is that is suprafacial suprafacial intrafacial interaction. Okay, suprafacial intrafacial interaction takes place. So how it occurs? So we know that if superficial superficial interaction takes place, it means that energetically this is not so much favored. So how the energy barrier is, uh, how we, we cross this energy barrier, because it requires a lot of energy. So how the energy barrier is crossed. So that's why, uh, because this 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction only uh, according to this selection rule takes place under uh, photochemical condition but this is taking place under thermal condition that's why it is called the anomalous anomalous 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction so this energy barrier how how we can understood how we can understand the uh, this uh, uh, this energy barrier how we this energy barrier is crossed so this may be understood suppose suppose the simplest example for this 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction in ketene then if this is our ketene so, and this ketene, you know that this is one of the intermediate, this is intermediate which is formed during the reaction and suppose this is the intermediate which is formed during the reaction and, and if we have another, two, so this is two electron system, this will act as a two electron system, this will act as a two electron system where this is C double bond, C bond it uh, take part in the reaction and here uh, one of the one of the another two electron system is present and it will undergo two plus two cyclo addition reaction and what is formed so you can see the simplest one so we have this product and this product is formed only under the thermal condition only under the thermal condition so how we can understand uh, how we can understand this reaction with the help of orbital consideration. Suppose if we take the orbital consideration, orbital consideration, we can understand with the help of an orbital consideration. So now ketene, so if we see the structure or orbital structure of this ketene, then Now, so one of the this carbon carbon double bond is present. So one carbon carbon double bond is formed over here. So this is the carbon carbon double bond which is formed by the sideways overlapping of this p orbital. And another double bond is formed between this carbon and oxygen. Okay. So again, uh, another p orbital uh, which is which overlap with the another p orbital of this carbon. 
that will overlap with the p orbital of uh, this oxygen so it means the another p orbital or this carbon that would be perpendicular to this p orbital because we know that all the p orbitals are perpendicular to each other so that's why next p orbital that would be perpendicular to this p orbital and this will overlap with the p orbital which is present over the oxygen so now this will overlap like this and next is bond next and this will form a pi bond okay <clears throat> now so uh, the orbital overlap is taking place between uh, these two with between this uh, molecular orbitals and molecular orbitals of uh, this system now so if we consider uh, this two electron system and another two electron system then as one of the electron withdrawing group is present uh, in this ketene, uh, that is this carbonyl group here is electron withdrawing group. That's why this is electron deficient system. In comparison, in compared to this uh, system, this will be the electron with, uh, deficient system. This will act as an electron rich system. So that's why we may say that this will act as a and uh, this will act as a humo and here this will act as a homo. Okay, this will act as a homo. Now, so uh, now lumo of this carbon carbon double bond, lumo of this carbon carbon double bond, no doubt, no doubt, psi 2, no, psi 2 that would be the lumo for this carbon carbon double bond, and uh, psi 1 that is the homo for this carbon carbon double bond. So lumo of this carbon carbon double bond, and homo of uh, this carbon carbon double bond that will uh, interact with each other. Okay, <coughs> now. So uh, now one of the thing then the interaction that the interaction is only possible when this ethene interact or ethene overlap with this perpendicular what the ethene or this homo uh, always interact with lumo perpendicularly so here uh, the, only then the interaction is possible only then the energy barrier may be crossed so homo interact Homo interact with Lumo perpendicularly. With Lumo perpendicularly. So how? Let, now let us see the orbital diagram. So if you see the orbital diagram, then first of all. Now suppose and this is our lumo. So lumo for this, this will be suppose this is positive and this will be negative, and this is negative positive. So this is lumo, and here uh, now this carbon that is one of the another p orbital of this carbon this is the another p orbital another p orbital for this carbon suppose i draw like this this is a p orbital for this carbon another p orbital which is perpendicular to this one and this will only this will overlap with this p orbital of oxygen so that i am not showing over here so this will overlap with the p orbital of this oxygen now suppose uh, this is having this positive charge over here and now if you will see what I have told you if this is the if this is the homo of uh, uh, this is the uh, this is the lumo of this ketene so this is the lumo of this ketene this is our lumo then this is a homo uh, that will that will uh, interact with it perpendicularly now homo for and this is the so I am I'm drawing the perpendicular you know, it will interact perpendicularly it means so like this it will interact like this so this is our homo homo means both lobe will having the same sign that is positive positive and this is negative now let us see the interaction now let us see the interaction so one of the interaction here this is one of the interaction so this is bonding interaction as you can see another one this is also bonding interaction 
Now, if you see that this is anti-bonding interaction and uh, now next one, this is our bonding interaction and this is anti-bonding, this is our anti-bonding interaction and this is also bonding interaction. So overall, if you see the different interaction and then uh, how many bonding interaction is over here? One, two, three, four, four bonding interaction. So therefore, four bonding interaction and how many anti-bonding interaction? So two anti-bonding interaction minus two anti-bonding interaction. So overall means two bonding interaction and two anti-bonding interaction that will cancel out and therefore there are total two bonding interaction. So this uh, this is the how the energy barrier is crossed. So overall the bonding interaction is more than the anti-bonding interaction. So this helps in crossing the energy barrier. So that's why and that's why the reaction may take place under the thermal condition under the thermal condition. Okay, so this is one of the thing. Now <clears throat> let us take some examples over here. Now if you keep see the examples then suppose if we have a simple uh, ketene, if we have a simple ketene and then this may react with one of the another two electron systems so that uh, 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction can occur and this under thermal conditions so what would the product over here so product over now so no doubt here if you see the how we can uh, how we can add these two product how the 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction takes place if you see here then this is the electron buttons system and here delta positive charge would be there because the delta negative charge is present over here and this is electron donating group this is electron donating group that's why overall overall the delta negative charge would be present over here so that's why the delta positive delta negative so this carbon that will interact with this carbon this carbon will interact with this carbon and this will interact with this one so the product here so this would be the product in this case the product formed is that this one is the product formed so means the product this can't be the product if you write this one then this this will be the wrong product. So this is not the form. So this is wrong and this will be the correct product. In the same way, suppose if you want to write the another one and suppose if we have a, another ketene system and this ketene that will may interact with now in this case if you are given this one and again here if you will see then 4 plus uh, 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction can only takes place from the here. So though this is a 4 electron system, but only 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction will take place and the product formed, the product form would be, this would be the product formed, this would be the product formed over here, okay. Now, next, suppose uh, one of the group uh, is present here. Now, suppose uh, if you take this one and uh, one of the group is uh, present, that is, the phenyl group is present over here. And in this case, then what should be the product? In this case, simply what I should, what should be the product in this case? So here, uh, under thermal condition again 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction will take place and in 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction if we want to show the stereochemistry for this one then now so what should the stereochemistry for this uh, phenyl group so phenyl group here and that should always be in endo position, one of the things that should always be endo position, similar to the deal set the reaction, or in, always the endo product is formed, the endo product with respect to this double bond. So here also, if this phenyl group is present on this carbon, then that should be always the endo to this uh, double bond. So 
we should always form the endo as a major product. So this would be the major product or we can write the another product uh, when and this is uh, about the plane and that would be the minor product. So the main product formed is this would be the main product. Now next one uh, suppose if we have a plane and now so if we have a two group over here one of phenyl and hydrogen and now here we have a ethoxy group over here then what should be the product in this case now in this case if you see the product here the product would be this one with the product when this phenyl group and this ethoxy group that should be cis to each other that should be cis to each other means uh, always the here out of this two the phenyl group is the bigger group so bigger group and here also the bigger group these two and here you may write the hydrogen over here so the bigger group should always be cis to each other so one of the note present you should write the note here if i put the uh, this is one two three four means at third and fourth carbon the bigger group bigger group that should be a always cis to each other so bigger group that should be bigger group at c3 and c4 should be should be cis to each other cis to each other okay always that should be cis to each other so how we can understood understand this one so suppose uh, what i have told that uh, uh, these two ketene and this ethene system they interact always perpendicularly so suppose if you have uh, one of this ketene system and if we have a ethene system okay so this two system that will interact perpendicularly like this now on this ketene suppose if we have two group one is the bigger group suppose one is the bigger group and there is the smaller group and here also so suppose one is the bigger group and there is a smaller group in the same way if the, we have ethene then one group may be the bigger group and another group that may be the small group so no doubt the two bigger group that should be away from each other so what i have uh, written here i have kept two bigger group away from each other so always they should be away from each other now when these two interact perpendicularly then a bond that would be formed like this and find it or otherwise I, I should write it so they will form a bond bigger smaller and like this bigger smaller like this so in this way they will interact with each other now so now they will now it will twist and it will uh, twist and we will get the final product so when it get twisted when it get twisted in twisted form if you write then these two big group these are which is uh, which is uh, i have shown it big, away from each other they will come uh, they will come uh, close to each other they will come close so that's why and these two should be that they should should be is either at the same um, either cis to they should be cis to each other okay so uh, whenever such question comes whenever such question comes then uh, one thing that we should keep in mind uh, either we may show it uh, both the group the both the group both bigger group may be above the plane or both the bigger group may be below the plane so this would be the answer in this case now <clears throat> let us see some more question over here Suppose if we have
so if we have this question then what should be the final answer in this case now first of all uh, now this in presence of uh, this thionyl chloride and triphenamine this will give the ketene as intermediate now how it will act as a ketene give ketene so in presence of thionyl chloride first of all so here this OH2 that would be replaced by the by nitrific substitution reaction this would be replaced by this one by a SNI reaction via by a SNI reaction uh, so this will give you the now so in next we have triethylamine now this triethylamine as a base it will take out this hydrogen and the product formed this will be the product formed we have negative charge over here we have negative charge over here now in another so this chlorine will leave out and we will get the ketene finally we are getting the ketene as a product so this is the intermediate which is formed now so this will now undergo 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction and this final product that should be formed this 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction will take place with this one and uh, one of the group this ethoxy group this ethoxy group and phenyl group one of the phenyl group that would be on the same side so suppose this ethoxy group and another that is the phenyl group and this would be the another phenyl group that so this would be the product in this case